So before we get started, I highly recommend that you buy the double jump upgrade which is located right here. This is going to be needed for some of the trial locations and some of the apple cores and it makes traversing every level a lot easier. Also, there is no specific order that I'm doing this, so just jump to the description and you need a specific stage. As soon as you start in the first stage, go left and you'll find it right away. This one's in plain sight. You can't miss it. It's your first out before. In this vertical section of the level, stick to the left side of the screen, go up the left wall and you'll find your second trial area. This next one is also hidden in plain sight, but you need to defeat a tougher enemy. I want to say it's really tougher, but it's right behind them, so take your time and you'll eventually get your second apple core. This maze area houses the first moxie deposit and the final trial door. You can clearly see the moxie deposits. Moxie deposits are usually in clear sight, so I'll just show you where they are on the general level. But as you can see, if you go up in the upper area of the maze, you'll find your final trial door. The second and final Moxie deposit is in clear view. You can either go up there with a super jump or use this tornado to get up there. Very shortly after getting your second Moxie deposit, you will come across another area with multiple sand tornadoes. This area has a gate up there. Use this tornado to get up there and get your third apple core. At the end of this stage, you should have three apple cores, two moxie deposits, and three trials found. In the Grizzler Mounds, before hiding on the ground, go all the way to the right and you'll find the first apple core just chilling. Here you can either use a super jump to get up there, it's a little bit tricky. A double jump is more forgiving, which you can use in combination with your um, hyper jump to get up there. This is in the section where you get chased by the giant worm. All you have to do is go back, hide in that gap until the worm goes by you, and then follow that worm into that left gap, and your first trial door will be right down there. For the second trial door, you're going to have to go through multiple screens, so you'll come across this vertical area, and then you'll come into this next screen which will need you to go down by activating your armor. There is an area right here where if you go down a worm will appear. Do not go down, jump back up and let the worm break to the walls and follow it. It'll open up a new path that will lead you to the second trial door. The first moxie deposit is in clear view, and you can't miss it, honestly. It's just a little tricky to get, but use the uh, deflect armor to get rid of the projectiles, and you'll be fine. The second depth core is also in plain view, although this one's a little bit more tricky to get, because if you mess up, you will die immediately. Also note that if you do collect an apple core and die, you do get to keep the apple core. It's not the same thing with moxie deposits. If you die with getting a moxie, depo moxie deposit, you lose all that. So, just so you know. Also, this next one is after this area. 
with the triple rock formation. There's a little gap up there. Super jump. Final door. Easy enough. The third apple core is behind a hidden wall. You can recognize this area by all these little spear dudes. If you go to the upper left corner, you'll go right through a hidden wall. Use the claw to get the diamond here. Or sorry, apple core. Second moxie deposit is right after this sub boss fight. In this stage, you should find three apple cores, two moxie deposits, and three trials. Ignore the one out of two. I died and didn't go back and to get it. First moxie deposit is in plain view. You can't miss it. The first trial is right after that moxie deposit. Use this to sling yourself up and just go right above the hidden ceiling. The first apple core can be gotten in two ways. You can either skip a section by using your super jump and double jump combination, which I'll show off right here first. Or if you don't have the double jump yet, traverse the stage as normal, you'll come up to the checkpoint, go through the hidden wall on the left. You will eventually reach a vertical section where you have to keep using the claw to traverse upwards. Halfway through there, or almost to the top I think, there is a hidden wall that I'll show off here and then there will be your second trial door. After that vertical section, you're going to go through a hidden ceiling to get your second apple core. You're going to do the long jump ability for this one, or if you mess up, you can easily cheese it with a super jump, double jump combination. Also, the top route is where you want to be. This is your second Moxie deposit. This path will also lead you to your third and final trial door for this stage. The third apple core is in plain sight behind one of these floating head enemies. In this stage, you should have found three apple cores, two Moxie deposits, and three trials. Now for resistance station, I'm going to be going through the stations A to D, so we're going to start off with station A. Halfway through station A, you'll get into a maze-like area where you have to use gaps in the ceiling to avoid attacks from these beetle dudes. One of these ceilings is actually a fake, and if you go right up it, you will get your first trial door. Your first apple core can be found at the end of section A. Don't go into the platformer, jump right through it, and you're gonna go through a hidden ceiling. At this point, you will have to find this little hidden area that you'll find. It's very simple, and just follow my lead, and then retrace your steps once you have your apple core. Alright, we're gonna go off to section B. Just wanted to show it off to make sure people aren't confused and they can follow my lead. Section B contains mostly arenas. After the second arena, you're gonna have to drop down. You can slide to the left or you can get to the bottom of it if you miss it and use a super jump to get to the first moxie deposit. After this, you're gonna go straight across into a hidden wall. It shows right here that I already went through it. Go right through it and you'll get your second apple core. Moving on to section C, which will be the blackout area. The second moxie deposit can't be missed, but you do have to be quick about it, otherwise you will lag behind and not be able to catch up to the platform. At the end of this section, the platform will reach its end, but you can see that there's a pole here that you can grab onto. 
Use that, and you'll reach your second trial door. To the final and most annoying section, Section D. The third and final Moxie deposit is towards the beginning of the section. Can't miss it. Just get up there nice and safe, and get your nice treasure. You will eventually reach this checkpoint, and if you super jump and go up to the left, you'll go through a hidden wall. I don't know if you're supposed to do this in a specific way, but this is how I do it. You have to get the crate to you, and all I have to do is super jump, combined with the double jump to get the core. I don't know how else to do it. If you know, please let me know. Also, after this, you'll come to a section where they just keep dropping down. Up this little hidden alcove is your third and final trial door. In this stage, you should have received three apple cores, three moxie deposits, and three trials. At the beginning of Titania Crater, there is a little hole up here to the right. It's right next to where I just jumped. You're going to have to super jump. And this part, you're going to either need a double jump or you're going to need the hover ability, which you get later in the story, to reach your first apple core. I really wasn't able to do it with just the super jump, so you will definitely need the double jump for this if you plan on getting it early. After getting that apple core, just go to the right, go down, and you'll meet your first trial door. The first moxie deposit is in this little platform area, and it's also in the same section where you have to ride the rafts across this electric goo. In that same raft area, if you go underneath this passage, you will get to your second trial door. You might have to tank some hits. I also recommend using the phase shift ability because that you can move freely without suffering uh, mobility consequences from the goo. You'll eventually reach this checkpoint which is right after the wrath section and you're going to go down. There's going to be a branching path but take this path first because you're going to go into an arena and after you complete the arena you'll be rewarded with the third and final trial door. After completing that trial, you're going to get a nice little raft, super jump, and then get your second apple core. Second moxie deposit you can't miss. All you have to do to get up there is just a super jump. The final core is right before you finish the level in this area where you need to use the face shift to go through the electrical currents. Right next to this floating head is a hidden wall. Simple as that. You can either use double jump or the claw to get your core. Here you should have collected three apple cores, two moxie deposits, and three trials. The first Aaron and Valenos is the section where you have to light the candles to make platforms rise. And there you can see the moxie deposit. If you don't have anything that will get you there, all you really have to do is just shoot it. In the area where you get the hover ability, if you go all the way to the left, there's a breakable wall. If this is your first playthrough, this is before you get the shift ability. So after you have it, come down to this section, face through, and you'll get your second trial door. From that same section, you're going to go up into this vertical climbing section. Use hover to uh, go over the gap, and then you're going to reach your first apple core. This is in that same vertical area. You're going to have to change to red coloring, and don't change it back to blue. All you have to do is hover over here to the right, and you'll get your second apple core. Afterwards, go ahead and change the area back to blue, continue forward, and you'll reach your second moxie deposit. After that second moxie deposit, you're going to use hover to elevate yourself up to a higher platform. As you can see, there's an apple core down there. All you have to do is jump through this gap, hover, 
and get your third and final apple core. In that same area where you got your third apple core, use super jump to reach this elevated section to get your third and final trial door. In this level you should have got three apple cores, two moxie deposits, and three trials. Right off the bat in the level Hectos, you're gonna super jump and right up here you're gonna get your first trial door. This is the first section where you need to go through this elevated platforms of the water rising. You can't miss the first moxie deposit. Right after that second moxie deposit, you're going to see that there's a gap in the ceiling. Just go ahead and jump right through that for your first apple core. In the second section where you can see these crushing platforms, there's a little gap we'll need to go if you're too slow. It's actually an invisible ceiling. Go ahead and get your second trial door. This is the first vertical scrolling station. Um, I like to do a super jump so you get a little bit more time, but you want to be in the phase form ability. You can either go around it, but I find it easier to just phase shift through it. Once you reach the top of that vertical scrolling station, change the color to red, and don't go down immediately, go left through an invisible wall to your third apple core. You'll reach an auto scrolling section, just be careful when you try to get this moxie deposit, otherwise you have to do the whole auto scrolling section all over again. The last trial door is in this vertical scrolling section right before you beat the level. There is a breakable wall right before you exit this stage to the right of this. I'll show you the whole pattern that I take here, but if you're in a hurry you might, be, you might miss it, but it's actually right before you exit, so it's easily missable. Right here, just go ahead and shoot it. If you feel like you're late, don't worry. Just go right up here and then wait it out. Actually, the trial door will save you from any damage. Stage has three apple cores, two moxie deposits, and three trials. Okay, so bear with me here. The Felsa Caverns can be a little bit tricky. So this is at the very beginning of the stage. If you go to the left, there's nothing there. You want to get yourself to an area where you can change an area to the red color. And you're going to need super jump and double jump to make your way back to the beginning of the stage. I can find any other way to do it. And then you're going to revisit that left area and you're going to get your first trial door. This is where the area first splits. You're going to take the upper path. And this is going to be just as tricky as what you did before. So you're going to need to switch between red and green backgrounds. You'll reach this area where you can't go through that small passing because the spikes are instant kills. So what you're going to do is make your way up this path. This part's tricky, pay attention. As soon as you switch colors, jump to the other platform otherwise you will die and have to restart. Doing that will remove the spikes in that previously impassable area and then you'll get your second trial door. So we're still in that first part where the area splits up. You're going to take the bottom path this time and do a little race against the receding water levels. Eventually you're going to have to change the background to red to continue and not get killed by this highly toxic water. Make your way up these numerous stairs and you're going to wait till the water starts receding again. During these steps, you should have passed an empty gap up in the ceiling. Use a super jump or a double jump to get up there, and you'll get your third and final trial door. So this is the second area where the paths split. You're going to take the upper path, and you're going to use a the hover ability to traverse this area. But you can see that there is a moxie deposit kind of hidden on this lower path. You could easily miss it if you're not really going off the beaten path. In that same area where you found the moxie deposit, you're going to reach this area where there's numerous spikes and these beetles that shoot at you. Go up in center of this area to reach your first apple core. Continuing from that previous starting point of the branching paths, you're going to take the middle one this time and you're going to go ahead and break 
this wall barrier and you'll reach this area where you have the lifts that you can use to hover to increase your height. If you're in the red coloring, this second apple core is going to be blocked. If you can retrace your steps and go down here and touch the blue goo, you're going to go ahead and change it back to the green area. This green area opens up that blocked area where the apple core was and you'll be able to easily access it. After you complete the branching path areas, you'll come across this section where you're going to be in your hover mode or the black armor. I don't really know what it is, to be honest. It's got some weird convoluted name to it. But after you hit these two platforms that are floating next to each other, you're going to take the upper path to get your second moxie deposit. You will then reach an area where you have to traverse these small spaces. Once you reach the bottom of it, you're going to change the colors to green. Don't continue forward to the next area. Retrace your steps to where you first started this section to get the third and final apple core for this stage. Eventually you'll reach this area where frog enemies just drop down from the ceiling on you and you're going to have to switch the color to green. When you descend, I recommend using hover and go all the way to the left of the screen. It's fine if you don't do that. You just need the double jump. This is why I recommend you guys getting it. Because then just go all the way to the left side of the screen. Use your double jump to get the third and final moxie deposit. In this stage, you should have collected three apple cores, three moxie deposits, and three trials. The first trial door is found at the beginning of the stage. You'll encounter these switching platforms, go through this small little alcove, it's a hidden wall, to get your first door. The first moxie deposit is after these falling boulders. You're going to need to use the wind to get down there. Be careful. You can use hover, just make sure it doesn't push you off. You'll see your first apple core as you continue throughout the stage. This one is more just about timing. Um, it's really helpful to have the double jump here so you don't struggle so much. It saves my skin here a few times. Second trial door is underground. You can see that there is air here that pushes you up. If you just use the armor, you will go down and reach your second trial door. Literally right after that, you will come across this area. It's more about platforming and timing here. You will need to use the wind to push you into the left. Uh, double jump helps a lot. You can also hover all the way there if you time it right. Second moxie deposits in clear view. Remember to use the armor to walk through the wind and pick your punches at the right time. Otherwise you will be pushed away. Third and final moxie deposit is right before you enter the palace. Reach an area with switching platforms and underneath that is spikes. You can use the hover and use the hover to get through this little hidden alcove and get your third and final apple core. After the cutscene before you face off with bad boy, use your super jump on the second hole here to go through the invisible ceiling to get the third and final trial door. Right off in the starting area, if you keep proceeding right, you'll eventually reach an outside place. If you keep going further right, you'll hit your first moxie deposit. This is in the second floor, so the second area, the first area and second area look alike. But if you go all the way down and proceed left, there's just going to be a small little chamber that has your first apple core. All you have to do is defeat the big bads. As you progress through this stage, you're going to unlock this little switch right here. When you hit that switch, you'll activate three platforms that will take you further along the stage, but also this door that was locked previously. Go ahead and descend back to the first floor to get your first trial door. Go up those three steps, go ahead and take the lower path, and once you reach this section, which is the bottom of the lower path, proceed left. Eventually you'll reach this small little hidden gap that's up in the ceiling. 
double jump in combination with your super jump to get your second trial door. And as soon as you're done with that trial, keep proceeding left to get the second Moxie deposit. You'll reach this area that has platforms rotating in a ferris wheel motion. If you keep climbing up to the left, you'll go through a hidden wall that has the second apple core. You'll eventually come back out to a windy section of the stage. You can try hovering out to the right or you can traverse through it normally. But the third and final moxie deposit is here. I recommend going underneath the moxie deposit and attacking it from there because if you attack at the moxie deposit you'll be pushed into the insta kill spikes. Once you get to this checkpoint which is keyed in by the nice little chef dude at the bottom you see where that dude's just minding his own business walking? Well if you beat him up you can go through that door to your third and final apple core. In that same area, you're gonna go into this vertical section where you need to use these enemies as platforms. There's a little alcove to the left. All you need to do is make your way there. It's okay if you mess up. You can also try using your invincibility frames to get there. And all you have to do is beat up these three little bouncy dudes to get the third and final trial door. I didn't record the results screen for this, but you should have three apple cores, three moxie deposits, and three trials. This is in the first area where you meet your first knight. All you have to do is destroy the knight, make your way up here, and then you'll actually meet a second knight which you have to destroy in order for the door to unlock. You will eventually reach an outside area that looks like a garden. All you have to do is climb up the left wall to get your first moxie deposit. From here, you'll use your double jump to climb up this wall to get height. And then once you reach the upmost area, you're going to switch over to the hover mode. I, like I said, I can't remember what it is, but you're going to use your hover ability to make your way all the way to the right to get your first apple core. You'll reach an area where you have to fight three knights and deactivate this lightning switch. You can kind of just rush through the knights but make sure to deactivate the switch. And if you make your way up to the upper left corner of this area, you'll encounter your second apple core. You'll reach an area where you have to start descending the in sanctuary. As you go down you're going to have to beat up these nice little slime dudes and these three handed clouds. Once you make your way down, you'll see your second moxie deposit. Starting from the previous moxie deposit, right underneath it is a hidden path to the left. It's already showcased because I went through it, but here's your second trial door. This one is right at the end of the first elevator section. Do not hurry and go to the next section, just wait until the elevator goes all the way down to get the third and final trial door. So in this two elevator section it can be a bit hectic. I recommend starting on the left elevator because your third and final moxie deposit will be there. When you can, go over to the right elevator because the third and final apple core is behind a hidden wall. You can see how there's an alcove there, there's an alcove here, but it's on the right side. So make your way over there safely, and then just go through and get your last core. This stage, you should have received three apple cores, three moxie deposits, and three trials. At the beginning of the level, you immediately hover to your left to get your first moxie deposit. You'll reach an area where it looks like it's all dilapidated and there's a bunch of platforms. What you're going to want to do is you're going to find one of those slime boys that change the color of the levels or you can find one of these to transform the colors. And once you transform it back to just like a regular, you know, living area where everything looks like bamboo, traverse back to that checkpoint into the left so you can find this first apple core hidden away in a different dimension. Towards the end of that dilapidated area, if you jump up here, you can see that there is a trial door exit. All you have to do is make yourself a little bit backwards and then go down about two stories or two levels. Make sure to hover, that way you don't fall into a pit and there will be your first trial door.
after completing that trial, you'll go into this area where it's two levels or three levels. Here you go into the left where there's some laser turrets. Once you go into the next area, do not switch colors. Use your super jump and double jump to come up here and get your second apple core. Continue through this stage, you're going to light up this torch. This torch is going to open up a locked door at the bottom in this previous area. And what you're going to do is you're going to go through the right area and you're going to be met with a laser turret. This part can be tricky. What you're going to have to do is go down there and switch to the red coloring. That way the torch is opened up and you can light it up. And then once you do that, you want to keep it red because that locked door up to the right will open up. And then you'll get your second trial door. You'll reach an area where you're going to be chased by these demon horses, wherever they are. And at the end of it, you're going to see this breakable floor. Go ahead and break it and you'll see your third and final trial door. This is the worst and most hassle section of all. Because you need to be careful of not touching these goopy dudes to get your second, oh sorry, your third apple core and you have to time it just right with the laser because that laser does a lot of damage. What I recommend is just tanking the damage because you could die and get the apple core. The same cannot be said for this moxie deposit. I recommend using the smelter sword to get it in one go, but if you die, you lose all your moxie. So be careful, be patient, don't throw a controller. At the end of this stage, you should have gotten three apple cores, three moxie deposits, and three trials. And that pretty much wraps it up for all the items and smelter. I hope you found this video extremely helpful, especially when it came to finding the more secretive secrets. If you guys found this at all helpful, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe. There's going to be a lot more when it comes to item hunting. I'm sure our type final table gave me a lot to uh, put out there. So I'll see you guys soon, and thanks for watching.